Hey guys, so Mango here. Today I got a quick redstone reader for you. I want to show you a perfect 50-50 item splitter that works at hopper speed. I made two versions, one that uses a piston, is a bit more compact, and then also a silent one. Alright, so first I need to explain what I mean for perfect item splitter. Um, yeah, there's always a simpler concept that has some flaws. So this one here would be an item splitter that works if you put a whole batch of items in it, but it has this bias for one single hopper. So if you would put three items in there, then of course the yellow chest would receive more items. And if you put another three items in there, then or have four in there and just two, or if you just put a single item there randomly, then everything will go into the yellow shulker box. Okay, so what I mean for perfect item split is that over its lifetime kind of it always alternates between uh, output A and B. So I can show you, I can, it's actually empty, I can throw this in at random times, you can also throw in multiple at once, and it will always give you a perfect 50-50 item split. Okay, let's check it out, there we got six, and there we got six. Alright, so this is the version that uses a piston, and then this is also the silent one. Also put a batch in there. Then another batch. And we should have the same amount in both output shulker boxes. Before I start with the tutorial, let's take a look at the redstone behind it. So in order to save the information which Hopper received the last item, we got this dropper circuit here. So we got two droppers facing into each other and there's one item in it and we alternate between powering those two hoppers under the double chest. In order to change between states we got this comparator clock running here that triggers this sticky piston every eight ticks because that's the amount of time it takes for the hopper to transfer an item over and yeah it just pushes the observer around and it alternates between powering the droppers. Okay, then the silent version, instead of using this piston here, if you just take an output of the out of the dropper directly uh, with the comparator here, which at the moment is locked, but as soon as we get items trickling through this hopper, this redstone torch will turn off, and then the comparator will send a signal into the dropper to send the item yeah, into the other dropper. And then again, we take an output through this chain here, send it back, also every eight ticks. Okay, let's see this working. There you go, and it evenly splits up the items and saves it for the next time. So with a system like this one here, you could for example hook up something that is random, like a sugarcane farm, and it would still evenly distribute the items over its lifetime. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to build this. So let's start with the version that is a bit more compact but uses the piston. In my inventory I already got all the materials we're going to need for this. Alright, so let's start. Just going to place two hoppers like this, this will be the output hoppers. They can go wherever you want. Then we just put another pair of hoppers above, and then we need the double chest, and then two hoppers on the side. All right. Next, we go around, place two blocks, comparators on it. Then we need two droppers facing into each other, like this, and then we just put in one item into the dropper. Okay. Then we can go around. I'm gonna take an output from this hopper here of the comparator, and make a little clock. Start a repeater here and just put it on subtract mode. Then here we put down another repeater, put it on two ticks. Then we place down the observer here, sticky piston. And since we put the item into this dropper, the observer has to go here. And now the silent version materials are again in the hotbar. Right, we're gonna start quite similar. I'm gonna place the output hopper pair, then hoppers above, and the double chest. Alright, then next you want to place the pair of droppers again here in the back, pointing into each other, like this. And here we place down comparators. Alright, then we can continue, place two blocks in front, and two more comparators here. Then two blocks in front of those comparators. Here we're going to place another block and put a redstone dust on. Then, just going to place down concrete, looks a bit better. <laughs> here I'm going to place down a repeater and redstone dot here on the other side. Put it down 
directly here with the redstone dot and place a repeater here. Okay, then we just need two hoppers, comparator, block in front, torch on each side. Then we just need a redstone dot here on the side. And the same over here. Okay, then just need to put an item into this dropper. And then you can put in your items from this side. There we go. Alright, that's it. Hope you find this useful. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.